Hi guys, it's Dawn, and I have my sacred IGN box for the month. It come in today. Um, I'm kind of excited. So, um, let's see what we have for this month. I'm going to turn the camera down. There we go. Okay. I've already cut it open, as you can see. We have some paperwork. Hecate, Goddess of Witchcraft, Queen of Witches, Goddess of Crossroads. Wow. That is actually very funny. Because I was just talking about Hecate with somebody today. Um, so, let's see. It gives, this is giving us information on Hecate, uh, altar de decor, symbols, stones, oils, and incense, colors, herbs, and trees, and animals. Definitely have the owls down. Uh... We have an evocation of Hecate here. Uh, it's very detailed. It's actually very beautiful. So I'm just going to show you the... This is our Book of Shadows page. And this is the information page about Hecate. They're both really Book of Shadows pages. That's where they're going. Okay. Okay. So, we have their card. And we have a tarot card. It says, a fiery, a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Interesting. Okay, and we have our sheet that has everything on it. But I don't want to, I want this to be a surprise. So, I'll just read you the top part. Mary, we meet. We gather this month of August, a month into the dark half of the year. Signs of autumn approaching are starting, uh, are starting to show themselves. These changes are subtitled in the beginning. If you haven't taken notice, be sure to take a moment to admire nature the next time you're outside. The changes of the seasons, even in their most subtle form, are our guides through the year and should inspire our magic to stay in alignment with the earth and universal flow. The leaves are beginning to gradually fade away from green. You may even notice a few extra leaves on the ground. The evening breezing, breezes are starting to pick up and the crisp night air whispers good night. We're still in summer, however. It is becoming apparent that the days are waning and the autumn is rapidly approaching. As we go further into the darkness, we can take solace in our magical practice. To guide us along our journey, we can connect with the Queen of Witches, the Goddess of Witchcraft, and Goddess of the Crossroads. We can call upon her, She of Three Faces, and represented by the Triple Moon. We can call upon the Maiden for new beginnings, enchantments, and ambition through the waxing moon. We call upon the Mother for fertility, sexuality, stability, and power through the full moon. We can call upon the Crone for wisdom, guidance, and to bring an end to a situation through the waning moon. Hecate is always near and patiently awaits your call. She can be your greatest teacher of the craft. She will inspire you and through intuition lead you along your journey in witchcraft. This month, we remember who we are and what we rep represent. We are witches. We are strength. We are power. We are wisdom. 
if you choose to pursue a herd. Oh, Hecate empowers us to be strong, guides us to be intuitive, and blesses us as witches. This month's box will be an aid to connect with Hecate, the queen of witches, the goddess of witchcraft. If you choose to pursue her, you may choose to acknowledge her as your goddess of the craft and create a shrine for her for daily working and praise. Or you may call upon her for guidance during your magical work when you need her wisdom in witchcraft. Either path you take in working with her, you must first call upon her. You may connect with your, ma your maiden, with your mother, and with your crone. May you be guided to become stronger, more powerful, and wiser witch. We are witches, and together we call upon Hecate, the goddess of witchcraft, for rebirth, power, and wisdom. Embrace the witch you can be, empowered by the goddess of witchcraft. The goddess has never been lost. It just, It is just that some of us have forgotten how to find her. By Patricia Monaghan. Okay. And it says, Blessed be uh, with love and light, sacred Isium. Okay. I don't want to go any further, but I've read this part. And we're going to keep that handy. Okay. That's what the box looks like. Okay, that's pretty, and we have black paper, and we'll lift it up, I'm really excited guys, okay, so the first thing I, and I'll give you a peek at the inside, all kinds of goodies in here. Okay, and but the first thing I am seeing are the herbs. So um, we have nettles, nettles leaf. In magic, nettles leaf can be used in work around protection, healing, lust, and for exorcism. Traditionally used as a loose incense when working with Hecate, can be powered and used in tinctures used in teas candles and burned okay and that's nettle sleeve it's a good bit of it and then we have mullein leaf <coughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. In magic, Mullen is known as Hecate's torch. In the old days, funeral rites devoted to Hecate used Mullen stalks dipped in fat to guide funeral processions. Magical purposes are protection against black magic curses, and other negative energy used to keep away malevolent spirits and bring courage when kept on the person. <clears throat> so this is the mullein leaf. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we have our herbs. <clears throat> This box smells really good. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out because I'm pretty sure this is what smells good. And they are the Night Queen Incense. I think there's eight in here. Hang on. Yep, eight. And they smell really, really good. Okay, I've never heard of that before. So 
so I'm not sure. Uh, the candle is different this month. Okay. It's beautiful. It's black. I usually uh, burn red candles for Hecate. Oh, it's got herbs in it and it's got a little key. Look at that. I wonder if you can even. There we go. There we go. So, this is the candle this month. Love it. I love that they put that key on there. That is freaking adorable. Alright, and then we have an oil. I didn't know what to pick up, so. And it's got a rose petal in here. I'm not sure what the leaf is. I'm sorry about my nails. They're a mess right now. I had to break off. I'm not sure what the leaf is, but it does have a white rose petal. And then we have all kind of goodies in here. See a clove. Okay, I'm shake it up. Oh my goodness. It smells really good. Um, it's kind of minty. It's it's nice. It is a beautiful smell. And this is called the Call of Hecate. And we have a little owl over there. I love owls, you guys. So here we go. Just beautiful. Love it. I like to know what the herbs are in the bags. So I know how to use them. So I'm hoping she tells us what's in the bag. It's a rose petal and something else. Okay, I have a little bag and a bigger bag. So I'm gonna pick up the little one. It's super cute, it's velvety, I love it. I have a thing for bags, I keep them all. And, ooh, we have a dark stone. I'm not sure if it's onyx or um, obsidian. If, if I had to guess, I would say it's obsidian because of the brown inclusions and I have some obsidian like this. I love obsidian. Or it might be onyx. I, I don't know. Um, onyx is the one that has the brown inclusions. Okay, it's one of the two, you guys. And I'm going to look you up and see. But let's put it there. And this looks kind of like a medicine bag. Oh, how pretty. 
so this is what it looks like outside of the plastic okay and it looks like a necklace that you can lengthen or shorten okay and it's a little leather pouch I'm pretty sure it's leather and there's a little gem on the feather I'm not sure what that gem is it's red and there's something in here um, which is why I'm opening it up and it looks like juniper berries and some small stones small black stones I'm not really sure what they are so I'm not gonna guess but it's, this is what it looks like okay looks like juniper berries and uh, some stones but I'm not sure about the berries okay so let's see what we are going to do with all of this okay oh I buried my paper good job all right now the herbs have the same information that I read to you already they're on the herbs so I'm not going to read the herb information off of here it's the same thing okay so we have our magical oracle card it says a fiery climax approaches I hope it is a good one okay. uh, this month card is drawn from moonology oracle cards by Yasmin Bolin artwork by Nix Rowan the card has come your way the card that has come your way is guided by universal forces by universal guidance when chosen for you may the message be received with blessings and intuitive knowledge on how to incorporate it into your life meditate on the message for clarity oh I didn't see this okay Although extensive energy is used in magically creating, spelling, and charging all of these items, they can be used as is and still be effective. Please take your time to align your intent and energy with these items before use for a strong, more personal connection with the spell. The basis of all magic is your intent. You should always follow your intuition in, a, in spell work. If you feel guided to add or take away from the provided spells, follow your intuition. I love that. There we go. Okay. Evocation of Hecate Candle. It's here. This handcrafted candle is designed to connect you with the goddess Hecate by evoking her to your magical space and into your life. This candle is dressed with a key, a, with an key amulet, a symbol of Hecate, and this amulet will open doors for you when used in your spell work or worn during times of decision making. This candle should not be taken lightly. And should not be used unless you intend to follow through and work with Hecate. Remove all dressings tied to the candle before use. Do not burn unattended. Candles dressed with herbs and, or and oils are at higher risk for fire. Okay. Candle back in here. Cut. 
Call of Hecate Oil. This handcrafted oil is designed to connect you with the energy of Hecate. This is a great oil to use on yourself or to dress your spell work with such, such as candles, adding to your charms, dressing amulet, crystals, jewelry, statues, and sacred objects. This oil can be used on the skin. When using this oil, you will be invoking Hecate, inviting her to bring power to your, you and your spells. The oil consists of oils and herbs sacred to Hecate. Sunflower oil, echinacea, clove, cat's claw bark, chamomile flowers, cypress tree oil, sandalwood oil, rue oil, spearmint oil, myrrh oil, patchouli oil, and black obsidian semi-precious stone. Oh, okay. I did not see a stone. There it is. Okay. Very nice. All right. You have to look real hard to find that stone. And that was our oil, which is beautiful. She didn't tell us what was in the bag, but that's okay. Night Queen Incense. Put right here. This would be a nice offering for Hecate. Night Queen is welcomed sent is a welcome sent to magical space or home. Night Queen is associated with the goddess Hecate as it blooms only at night. Fantastic for burning during meditation or upon the altar for your spells, particularly particularly those for hex breaking. Interesting. Night Queen is also known for protection, magical potency, and when working with Hecate. Handcrafted and of the highest quality, these charcoal-based incense sticks are perfect for enhancing the atmosphere of your home or being included in use for your favorite spells and rituals. I can tell you they smell amazing. They smell amazing. Wow. I am going to enjoy burning those around her altar space. I can already tell you. Okay. Black onyx in bag. Okay, so it is onyx because it ha um, it has the brown inclusions right there. And uh, I have some onyx that looks the same. It has the brown inclusions in it. But it's beautiful, and that's part of what makes it beautiful. And magic black onyx is a stone associated with the goddess Hecate along with most black stones. Black's onyx was cho chosen for this box over other stones as it enhances steadfastness, determination, and is a potent stone for grounding. Black onyx offers you a great, great way to help keep you on task and balance your life. As you work with Hecate and further develop into a powerful witch, it is just as important to maintain balance and grounding. Use the stone alongside of any magic being performed with the assistance of Hecate. You may also wear or keep on your person when needed to tap into its magical attributes. When not in use, keep charged on your shrine for Hecate. You can use the black bag for any charms or to store the onyx. Do not allow this charm this charm to be touched by the sun. Charge with the energy of the dark moon before the new moon. Okay, so that's got to be charged. 
So I'm going to put it back in its bag and take it downstairs with me when I go. So it can be charged when the moon is right. And I have to look on my calendar um, because I'm not sure what phase the moon is in right now. Okay, Hecate Charm Bag. That must be this. Perfect for containing your small sacred items, herbs, and stones. A personal charm bag is a vessel containing various items that is believed to hold powers for the owner. Traditionally, charms are worn under the clothing, worn around the neck, or kept in a pocket. The charm bag is made of a soft leather with a cord and adorned with a feather. There are charmed stones in the bag to get you started. A personal effects such as hair, finger, fingernail clippings, along with some herbs from this box after you charge them with your energy. A few drops of the call of Hecate oil and your black onyx stone. Place this bag under your pillow when you sleep to receive me messages from Hecate for guidance. Also keep this bag on your person for protection when away from your sacred space. You can also use this bag to enhance your magical workings. The more you work with your bag, the more life it has and the stronger its energy field grows. Never let this charm be exposed to direct sunlight. Charge under the dark moon the day before the new moon. So, both of these need to be charged under the dark moon. So, I am going to take them both downstairs. Okay. And that is it, you guys. Um, the Hecate, uh, we have, um, our Hecate information, our Book of Shadows page, and then the evocation of Hecate. I was really excited to see this box. And it is um, perfect for some things I can add to my altar for Hecate. Oh, I can't, I can't put it back in there exactly the way it was. So, you guys... It was a pretty good box. I'm impressed with it. I like it. Um, and it would be great for a witch just starting out with Hecate. Um, but I think it will also work for uh, a little bit different for me because I don't have to do the evocation. Um, but I will charge these items and put them on her altar as offerings well the stone will probably stay on her altar and um, what I thought was a medicine pouch it kind of looks like one right um, that I am going to Probably sleep with under my pillow. I think that is a good idea for it. Um, and I will do a dedication for it. And then uh, charge it, do a dedication. And definitely um, put some herbs, uh, oils, and uh, leave you on my altar for three days. Um, or three weeks. I may do three weeks. And then um, I'll be all set, right? Um, so I'm really excited to do these. Um, thank you guys for coming and watching. And I 
let me know if you get this box, if you're interested in this box. I will tell you this is the cheapest box. It is the apprentice box I, that I get. Um, but I love it. Um, it's more for beginning witches, but I can take it and use it as I see fit. Um, you don't have to go exactly by what they put in there. If you're a seasoned witch, um, you can do your own spells, you know, your own dedications, your own thing. Um, and that's what I do a lot of times with these boxes. Um, I see what their intent is for, but it's my intent. And, um, so it's basically how I use it. So everything, um, gets cleansed and gets used, um, the best way I know how to use it. Um, thank you guys. I love you all. I wish you all the best blessings, um, the warmest blessings I am sending your way. And I will talk to you guys later. Blessed be.